our solar system. Hi friends, today are you excited to learn about the space? Yes, today we are going to a journey to space and explore it. We are also going to learn about different celestial bodies in the universe. So, let's go to the space. But hold on, before we go to space, we are going to be prepared for it. You all know that the space has vacuum. There is no oxygen present in space. Hence, let me grab my astronaut suit and come back. Okay friends, here I am ready in my astronaut suit. So now, let's go to the launching station and go to space through a rocket. Come, let's go. Okay friends, now are you ready for going for space? Yes, now we are going to have a great time in space. We are going to launch this spacecraft. So now, let's go to space. In 3, 2, 1 and lift off. Yes, now we are reaching the moon. On the moon. Now I am standing on the Earth's only natural satellite, the moon. The moon's scientific name is Luna. Do you know that the moon's gravitational force is too low? Yes, it's only about 16.6% of Earth's gravitation. Too low, isn't it? There is no atmosphere and water availability in the moon. Hence, there is no life existence on the moon. The Earth has only one natural satellite, the Luna. In the same way, all the other planets of the solar system have different types and number of moons. The Jupiter has a minimum of 60 moons. It's a great number, isn't it? So, let's go to every planet and study about them one by one. First, let us go to Mercury. The first planet of the solar system. Now I am standing on Mercury, the first and the closest planet to Sun. Mercury is the first planet of the solar system which has the shortest orbit. It takes 88 days to complete one revolution around the Sun. But it takes 1416 hours to complete one rotation. And hence, it has long days. Mercury can be visible through the naked eye from Earth just before dawn and just after sunset. Mercury does not have any moons because of the sun's gravitational pull. Its temperatures are very extreme. Its hottest temperature is 400 degrees Celsius and the coldest temperature is minus 175 degrees Celsius. Now let's go to the second planet of the solar system, the Venus. Now I am standing on Venus, the second planet of the solar system. Venus is the hottest planet of the solar system despite being the second planet. Do you know why? It's because it has a thick layer of carbon dioxide as its atmosphere. Hence, the carbon dioxide traps all the heat which it gains from sunlight. Hence, it is the hottest planet of the solar system. It is the second brightest object seen from Earth in the night sky after the moon. It is also seen during the dawn. Hence, it is also known as the morning star. The Venus spins in, in the clockwise direction. Now let's go to Mars. 
the fourth planet of the solar system. Now I am standing on Mars, the fourth planet of the solar system. Do you know that Mars also have a nickname? Yes, that's right, it's the red planet. Do you know why? It's because the soil in Mars contains a rich content of iron oxide or iron rust. The temperature in Mars varies from minus 140 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. Mars is the home for the tallest mountain in the entire solar system. It's a great thing, isn't it? The gravitational pull of the Mars is only about 38% of Earth's gravitation. There are huge dust storms in Mars. Whoa! I can't see anything. Oh, good heavens, the dust storm has passed away. The two moons of Mars are Phobos and Deimos. Now let's go to Earth, the third planet of the solar system. journey to the Mercury, Venus and Mars. So I want to take a break so I came back to Earth. Now I am standing on the beautiful planet of the solar system, our home, the Earth. Do you know some facts about Earth? I told some facts about the Mercury, Venus and Mars. So now let's also discuss about the, our own planet, the Earth. The Earth is the only planet which sustains life. But do you know what is the reason for this property of Earth? It's because of the lithosphere, hydrosphere and the atmosphere. But what are these spheres? These spheres are the reason for the life on Earth. The lithosphere means the land. The hydrosphere means the water and the atmosphere means the air. Now let's see about the atmosphere. Now the main factor of earth that sustains life is the oxygen. The oxygen is one of the gas in atmosphere. It is the reason for the life of many organisms on earth. The next is hydrosphere. You all know that everyone needs water to live. So, it is the main factor that supports life. The next is our lithosphere. But why do we need the lithosphere? We don't need the mud or we don't uh, breathe in the mud. But why do we need the lithosphere? We need lithosphere to grow crops. We need lithosphere to eat our food. Hence, these three factors are the main reasons for the life existence on Earth. So now, I have told you all about the Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Do you know what they are called? They are called as the terrestrial planets. But do you know what is terrestrial planets? I will tell you more facts about the solar system and the space. Now I am going to say some more facts about the solar system and the space. The solar system is just a small tiny part of the entire universe. It is similar to a ice of a small ant compared to the earth. It is so tiny. Now I was saying about the terrestrial planets. There are two main types of planets in our solar system. They are the terrestrial planets and the gas giants. The Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars belongs to the category of terrestrial planets and the Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune belongs to the category of the gas giants. They are also known as the inner planets and the outer planets. The inner planets are mostly made up of rocks and the outer planets are made up of gas. It is believed that if we place the whole planet of Saturn 
on a huge massive ocean it floats. Hence we can say that these gas giants are made up of gas. Do you know that not only the Saturn have the ring? Yes, the Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, all the four have rings. But the most common visible ring for us is the Saturn's rings. But how do we distinguish this inner planets and the outer planets? We need something to separate it, right? Yes, there is a thing that separates it. It's the asteroid belt. It is the rocky belt which separates the inner planets and the outer planets. It lies between the Mars and the Jupiter. It is full of asteroids. It is, the asteroids are also known as the minor planets. Human intelligence had made many successful things. Satellites and other such inventions are sent to different planets. Spacecraft named Voyager 2 visited till the Neptune. Do you know that? Our ISRO has also sent a mission to Mars. It is known as the mission of Mangalyaan. So, I am going to the other four planets of the solar system. Those are the gas giants. They are Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus, Neptune in the next part. So, I will meet you on the next part soon. Okay friends, now I hope that you know some facts about the terrestrial planets and the solar system. So, regarding that, here are some questions for you. So, now I am going to fly up as a rocket and you answer these questions. I encourage you to pause the video here and try to get the answers for these questions. So friends, now I hope that you have answered the questions that I gave you. So don't forget to post the answers in the comments below and express your opinions about this video in the comments. I promise to attend all your comments promptly. So don't forget to like, share and comment this video and do hit the subscribe button next to my channel. Thanks for watching.